Here are six different type of polynomial questions that I guarantee that one of them, one of them is going to show up on the SAT. I know it's a little bit longer, but this practice will make you better. I promise you. If you want to jump to a specific question, hit that description box below. We got some work to do. Let's go. For the first question, it's just combined like terms, but I'm going to show you a strategy on how to organize the terms better when you combine like terms. So a times two is two a a times negative a is negative a squared. Here's how I combine like terms. If this number does not have any number in the front of the parentheses, then it's kind of like the parentheses aren't there. So it's just a squared plus three. We can write plus a squared right under this one because they're like terms and plus three. We're just going to put it aside because there's nothing like terms with it. For the last one, you put negative one in front and distribute the negative. So from here, two minus two a, those cancel out. So that's gone. Negative a squared plus a squared cancels out. Look how easy that is. I'm giving you the best strategy to combine like terms. Three minus one, you get two. The answer for that is a, let's move on. So take a look at this one. If you got a negative here, don't start distributing right away. You gotta look in the middle that will tell you what to do. That negative means I got to distribute the negative so I can put a one in front and I distribute all of that, right? I do not want you to do the whole problem. You want to look at these answer choices first and then see if you can take some shortcuts. And this one's got a really nice shortcut. Check it out. Negative one times M squared N is going to be negative m squared n right and that one's like terms with this one so i'm going to write it right under here negative m squared n that's the result of this blue one so when i combine like terms you're going to see that the coefficient right here that's going to be negative 2 m squared n i'm just going to write over the problem and you're allowed to write on the test so it, it does save me a little time when I write over stuff like that. And if you look at all the answer choices, the only one with negative two M squared N, let me just write that again, cause you can't see it. The only one with negative two M squared N is letter C. So you don't have to distribute everything. You only had to do the first one and know that you're gonna have to combine like terms with that first term. And if you do that, it saves you a lot of time. And there's not a lot of time to waste on the SAT. For number three, that one you do have to distribute everything. So only take the shortcuts when you can. It says, if the expression above is written in this format, A, B, C are constants, or they're the, your coefficients, the numbers in the front, then what is A plus B plus C? First thing I'm gonna have to do is distribute this negative to all the terms. I'm gonna do that in red. Negative one times negative two is positive two x squared. And you get three x after you multiply the second one. And negative one times two is negative two. I'm going to transfer this and match them up at the bottom right here. So combine like terms, that's two x squared minus three x plus one. So all I did was move this right here. And look, look how neat that is. Follow my strategy, guys. Look how neat that is, because they're all like terms from top to bottom. You can easily add them. 4x squared, 3 minus 3 cancels, so that's 0x. You don't got to put 0 there. I'm just putting 0 there to explain it better. Negative 2 plus 1, negative 1. And now we can tell what our A, B, and C is. A is 4, B is 0, C is negative 1. So this is just 4 plus 0 minus 1, which equals 3. B is my answer. Moving on to number 4. For number 4, if you are dividing polynomials and this degree is only 1, I think the easiest way to do it is synthetic division. Put that in your arsenal, guys. Make sure you know how to do it in case you would run into a question where you got to divide polynomials because it is the easiest way to do it. And if you don't know how, I got a video on it. Check out the description box. I'll put that link on there. First part of synthetic division, you take this 
and you set it equal to zero and you solve for x so that's just plus one and i get x equals one that is the number that goes outside of your synthetic division box and then you just put the coefficients of these as long as they're, they're in descending order which they are and i'm not missing any terms so the number in the inside if these don't have numbers it's a one is one negative one three and negative three the question is which following is the quotient so what is the result after i divide those synthetic division i drop the first term then i multiply one times one and i write the result right here and then you add negative one plus one is zero then we repeat the same algorithm one times zero is zero then a three drops down and then one times three is positive three and I get a remainder of zero. That last box is your remainder. From here, this is going to represent your x squared term. So that's x squared. Zero is my x term, so you don't got to put it there. And three is my constant. So look how easy that is. You don't have to do long division. My answer is B. Number five, I'm going to show you the shortcut because again, there is no time to waste. And if you know how long division works, then you'll understand this one. I also got a video on that, so I'll put that in the link. It would look like this if I was doing long division. AX minus one, whatever you're dividing by, you put it in the inside, right? So that's 14X squared plus 9X minus 20. They already give you the result up top, so that's awesome. So I know the result is 7X plus eight with a remainder of negative 12. And now we just gotta do backwards operation. So what divided by 14 will get me 7x? From here, you can tell the value of a has to be two because 14x squared divided by two x is seven x. So for this question, you don't have to do the full problem if you know how long division works the answer is two. For the last one, you can either do it through long division or you can do it by synthetic division, my fan favorite. Synthetic division is what I really suggest, especially when the question is like, what is the remainder? And that's pretty much what this is asking. This right here represents your remainder. As long as whatever I'm dividing by is a degree of one, we can do synthetic division. To set that up, just like number four, first set this equal to zero. And that's the number that goes on the outside of the box. Minus one and negative three X equals negative one divided by negative three. One third is the number that goes on the outside of the box. And this inside will just be the coefficients of this as long as it's in descending order and I'm not missing any terms, which that is the case. Six minus five and a four. You drop the first term down and then you multiply these two, just like number four. Six times a third is two, negative five plus two, negative three. And then we multiply this one. One third times negative three is negative one and four minus one is three. And that is my remainder. My remainder is three. That is my review on polynomials. And I'm sure one of those questions will show up on the SAT. So keep practicing. I will try to make as many videos as I can before the SAT. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next episode.